This right here is 40 additional eyeshadows. It is the same formulation. I feel like they were a little patchy. I don't feel like they were like the same formula as the palette. Press the same way. There is quite a bit of kickback on, wait, where is it? On the palette, so just bear in mind. The same pigmentation as the Jaclyn Hill palette, which we all know and hopefully we all love. I wish it was more pigmented, but you know what? This will do. Mm. I'm obsessed with the shade. <laughs> Mommy! Oh, ooh, honey! Ugh! I love it. Begin. So beautiful! Honey, that pigment. Honestly, that could get me off. And then you open her. It says, it says Morphe X Bretman, and then you open her. Or oh, whatever. $60,000 to pay someone to do one video and that's the rates that we've been given because listen if I sit here right now And I tell you yeah, some of the top tier influencers are charging $60,000 for a video You're going to be outraged My social media was flooded with people being like I cannot believe that you charge $60,000 But it is Really alarming when you see people saying, I am the realist, like shame on all these like beauty gurus who are after it for the money. And then I get that email for that person saying, well, she's only gonna talk about this if you pay. So I'm telling you, I've met literally hundreds of people in this industry and some people are incredible and wonderful and down to earth and some people are not. And that's gonna be that way because that's what life is. So a couple months ago, or somewhere between one and two months ago, I decided to end things with Brace. You guys don't know the full truth. I don't even think I know the full truth. I mean, when you've been lied to for so long, like, who knows? He didn't cheat on me, I didn't cheat on him. It wasn't like that at all. There's just... All I know is I deserve so much more. I deserve love, I deserve respect, I deserve happiness. Why did you and John break up? So if you guys didn't know, yes, Jonathan and I broke up. For real this time, I know I've, I've made a whole video about it before and like we made it a big deal and like I was crying and blah 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 but this time like I don't want it to be a big deal. YouTube makeup guru Jaclyn Hill shocked the YouTube world in May of this year when she announced that she and husband of nine years, John Hill, were getting a divorce. It's just not gonna work. Like we're not gonna work together. <laughs> I mean, I will say this, like we're, you know, we've only been here for like half a day, but you are so far one of like the most welcoming, chill people I've been filmed with, which I was not expecting. I was expecting to be honestly like a little scared and like a little sister intimidated. <laughs> Um, a lot of it is I just, I don't, it's not like I need to have the last word, I just don't like when there's misinformation. Like with my ex-friends, people still don't really know what went on. Why do I feel like they need to know? Because there's so many versions of what never happened out there, and for some reason I don't want to be portrayed as that still. Like you have to, half people still think I'm the bad guy when I only loved and cared about all these people and boosted them up and gave them all my connection, and I'm still the fucking bad guy. Okay, y'all, here's a little recap. If you haven't been keeping up with all the drama in the beauty guru community, after Shane Dawson's series about Jeffree Star saw major success, YouTuber Gabriel Zamora tweeted a photo of himself, Nikita Dragon, Laura Lee, and Manny MUA. First receipt, you already know. I have the receipt. So here's the first receipt right here. It says, bitch is bitter because without him, we're doing better. Gabriel Zamora tweeted out and he said, listen to this. He said, imagine standing a racist, I could never. <laughs> 
YouTuber Laura Lee is just one of the most recent Twitter users to have been exposed for an unpleasant and pretty racist comment she made a long time ago on Twitter. Back in 2012, a fan found a comment Laura made in a response to a tweet where she wrote, well, I don't want to say it, so you can just read it right here. In this video, it's been so hard. It's so much I just wanted to say that I'm not the same person I was a year ago. I'm not the same person I was three years ago, six years ago. I mean, even at that time, I was what, like 15 as a boy in Virginia. And I know I have said some very insensitive things, especially when I was younger. I take full responsibility, but I know I'm constantly changing as a person. The second apology that I owe is for an old tweet of mine that resurfaced from 2012. I don't want to give you excuses as to what my train of thought was. Just know that it was ignorant and it was stupid and it didn't come from hate. So for that, I'm truly sorry and I've learned from it and I hope that my actions since then have shown y'all that I've learned from it and I've better educated myself. You feel these things. Let's keep it a hundred. Keeping it a hundred. Let's keep it a hundred. You say worse. Let's keep it a hundred. You've said worse. Let's let's keep it a hundred. If I'm keeping it a hundred with y'all, just keep it a hundred. Keep it a hundred with me. But he is keeping it a hundred. Because I try to keep it a hundred. Let's keep it a hundred. We had miscommunications. A terrible communicator. I would be a better communicator didn't communicate that to each other was our lack of communication. We were not able to communicate to each other. And for me not being a better communicator, miscommunication. Communication is everything, you guys. You need to be able to communicate. Communication is the most important thing. But they, these two people met up and they collaborated and they became friends. And I saw this person grow. So this person used this other person that had the followers and started to appear on her Instagram and started to raise this person's own Instagram followers. And then when this person kind of drained this other makeup artist for all the followers that it could get from it, it moved on to a bigger influencer. And over the years I have watched this person kind of go like boing, 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 boing to different influences, different beauty gurus. Where did we meet? And I saw him across the street and I was like, oh my gosh, Patrick. And I had talked to him before on Instagram and on like social media and I literally like yelled so loudly. I was like, Patrick, stop. <laughs> he, I, had, I, had, I had followed him. He was like, oh my God, I can't wait to see you there, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, <laughs> sure, no. I, I had like, seriously, I had like seven or eight K at Famous, but like I had- Me too. Like, he had no idea who I was or anything like that, and so I had screamed his name, I ran to him, I gave him a big hug. All of a sudden, Mean like swings his camera from behind me, he's like, hey, selfie, you know? I was like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, what? This is my friend, Manny. Don't touch me. Hey, don't touch me. Hi everyone, I brought a special guest today, the one and only Manny MUA. You're at my house, oh my god. I'm. I'm just so excited to hear you. I have no idea. Listen, it's amazing. I have a friend, and I'm not going to say their name because it's irrelevant. Because we can all relate to this, but I have a friend who basically shows through their actions that they don't want me to be more successful than them. And as I have grown past them, they have kind of shunned me away and become a little bitter. So you know what I have to say to that? Bye! See ya. It's easy to, you know, clap back and say little things and little jabs, like, but, you know, as time goes on, I don't feel the need to prove as much, but it's hard, you know? 12 seconds later. I'm just like... Like, take your time, because I know this has been, like, a really intense month. Yeah, it's been a hard month, man. I 
kept my mouth shut for a really long time and I have been really, really quiet about a lot of certain shit. I'm sitting here and I'm thinking like, you know, I just started my YouTube channel and I would love for y'all to come and watch my channel and see what it is that I have to say about certain situations about certain people. And I found my old cell phone and I think a story time would be really good right about now. Now let's move it up so you guys can see this isn't Photoshop, this isn't Photoshop, this isn't Photoshop, this isn't Photoshop. This isn't Photoshop, bro. I hate to break it to you guys, but that's not Photoshop, like... So when I went to this person's house, you know, we were talking about... All that stuff, of course. We were mentioning all that stuff, and... And we had a conversation about it for a while, and... Eventually it led into him saying, basically, well, we all... We've all said the N-word. And he didn't just say the N-word, he said... The N-word. With an A at the end. But still. Is this person is lying for attention and there is a very deep backstory that he failed to mention in his video that I very um, that I went into very detail on Twitter right now. So if you want to head over there, please do so. Um, people always want pull out the receipts, girl. I uploaded text messages. I uploaded audio voice notes. Um, this person is disturbed. There's a lot going on there and he tried to bring me into the trenches of his misery for personal gain and um, honey. That's not gonna happen. Thing about hanging out with Regina was that I could hate her, and at the same time, I still wanted her to like me.